98.6. Hello. Hello? I'm with the pizza. Oh, hi. Hi. What happened? You hung up on me? What? No, I didn't hang up on you. You made an order for a pizza, correct? Yes. Do you have your pizza yet? No. Okay. Uh, this is a delivery order, I understand. We want to... Uh, yes. Okay. According to the computers, uh, the address that you're getting a pizza from, uh, delivered to, is we're going to be... Pizza's on the way already. But the location you're getting a pizza to is in a high-risk area, high-risk delivery? Uh-huh. You live in a bad... Not bad, that I know of. Well, it's a high-risk delivery area, so there's actually an extra deposit on that. I don't think so. Well, I don't think so. Well, there's, there, we've already put a hold on the credit card. It's a $30 deposit. This will be released after the pizza is delivered to your... No, I don't want your pizza then. You're out of your mind. We've had it delivered here before, and they've never said anything like that to me before. Well, we've had had some issues with the people, you people, okay? Us? Yes, you people. You know what I mean by you people in this neighborhood where you live. What do you mean? What does you people mean? Well, for lack of a better term, white trash. You're calling us white trash? You little motherfucker, I'm going to be down at that store. I don't know who you think you're talking to, but we have had pizza delivered here. I don't know how many times. We just moved here. And I don't know who you think you're... I want to talk to your... I want the manager right now. You guys are fucking done. Where's the manager? Don't you dare talk to me like that. I'm going to make sure you... Where is the manager? I want to talk to the manager now. No, I am the manager. I'm the owner of the store. You run that store well, and I'm... you talk to people like this? You actually called us. You can't deliver here because we're in a high risk neighborhood. No, listen, we can deliver. God damn it. We can deliver the pizza, but we have already placed. I'm just, I'm required to let you know that we placed a deposit on your card, an extra hold, $30. And it'll lift as soon as the pizza gets delivered. We'll take it right out. I don't want your pizza. Well, it's already on the way. Business. And then, and then, listen, listen to me. Then, then the thirty dollars deposit stays on, and and the price of the pizza. Say that again. Then the thirty dollars deposit stays. It, this is exactly what happens in your neighborhood. You white trash people. You order a pizza like a joke, and then you tell our driver, "Oh no, we didn't order a pizza." And then, no, we don't want the pizza. And then what happens? Pizza sits on the floor. Thirty dollars we're taking out. We're holding this for you, ma'am. We're taking the. We're going to keep the thirty dollars. You have pizza. got to be crazy. We're sick and tired. I had you guys come to our door, and and you were so nice. I I don't. You guys, uh, you're out of your crazy mind. You're being kind of rude. What's with the woman in the background there? Who's yelling? That's uh, that's my husband. He's really upset right now. He's a, well, let tell him. You cannot legally put a thirty dollar deposit on my account without my permission. It's already done. You did it already. Well, as, yeah, you accepted to the terms, but as soon as that delivery driver, I didn't leaves, accept to no terms. They didn't say shit to me. On the phone, Listen. That I had to make a $30 deposit to get pizza delivered to my home. If you look at the back of your credit card, it says we can read the read the, the fine print on the back of the card that you put this purchase on and the deposit. Read the fine print. Is the delivery driver you there? You are crazy. Well, I'm. It's lady, what's your problem? You're going to bounce a check or something? You don't have enough money? What's the matter? I just paid it over the phone. I paid you guys over the phone on my card. We'll release it as soon as the driver gets back safely from your bad neighborhood. We'll release the hold. I we don't live in a bad neighborhood. We've had a bad history with the people that live at this address, and that's why I had to do this. What? What is your name? Hmm. What is your name? Yeah, yeah, that's the guy. Yeah, call the cops. Yeah, oh, he's got your name. Are you there? Yeah. Hello? Oh. Hey, dude, I know. Who is this? She said he's charging What? Oh. Who is this? Oh, 
I'm going to place a $30 Dude, we charge. know that you guys are messing with somebody over here. We're going to call the cops on your ass. You can't charge someone else's credit card. Well, we had to put a deposit because it's a bad neighborhood. There's no, what you, I don't know, have any clues to what you're talking about. That stuff doesn't go on it. I worked there for 12 years. Oh, this must be a misunderstanding then. There better be a misunderstanding, dude, or you're going to jail. Oh, no, he's been threatening me. You can't no, no, call people up and threaten them. I didn't threaten anybody. I just told them about the $30 dude, news. Dude, you are not my boss. I work at that. <laughs> you are not the boss there. Well, I'm taking. You better freaking hang the phone up okay. now, or I'm calling the police. What's hang your up now. What, what, hang up now. What, did you receive the $30 uh, charge? <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> I had got the call. Holy shit. He commanded you to hang up the phone. Cactus, 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 Thank you, Vista Blue, for that intro song. That's a brand new one that they emailed to me about a week ago. One of the band members named Mike said, A million years ago, I found a torrent with a bunch of your stuff. It was great last month. I discovered your podcast and was so happy to know that you're still doing this. I've been listening a bunch. I don't know if this is cool or not, but we did a quick song to submit. It's even under 30 seconds. So thank you, Mike, from Vista Blue. I like it. I kind of want to just use it for hobo sods or something, because I really need a hobo sod song. And if you'd like to listen to Vista Blue's music, they have a band camp page. I'll have a link to it in the show notes. It's wearevistablue.bandcamp.com. Hi, everybody. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. I'm Brad, your host. I have some terrible news today, but first, the sponsors who bring you this terrible news. No, I shouldn't say that. That's terrible. Anyway, today's show is brought to you by FN Reality, Sean L., Jim Dusky, Lord and Lady of Veggies, and Starkey. They're the ones that support this show on the Patreon at patreon.com slash phone losers. And there's new people who've signed up over the past few weeks, like M, just the letter M, then there's Hobosexual, Patrick C., Bran Frog, Michael W., Peyton S., Tom, Mitch B., Rectal, Steve and Megs B., Andy B., and Richard Tree. Wait, is that your last name? Did you just trick me into saying your last name? I try not to say last names on here. Anyway, thank you for signing up and supporting the show and all that stuff. Everyone who signs up for $5 a month gets to hear the Hobo Sodes. That's an extra show every week. Sometimes it's pretty much the only show that I do for the entire week, like last week. I don't know. I did one snowplow show last week, but two hobo sods, and I think it's going to be the same this week. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm just, I've sucked at shows lately. I tried really hard yesterday to do a show, and everything just sucked. And I don't know if I'm going to get another one out this week, but that's just a testament to the quality that you can expect on the snowplow show. If my shows suck, I just delete them. You don't ever hear them. Uh, a couple days ago on the hobo sode, I got yelled at and insulted pretty good. Here's a short clip of that show. You are a cock. Leaving you're your a TV cock-sucking, up. motherfucking, manipulative. What? Son of a bitch. Don't use you, big you words with me. You, you 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 are lower than you are lower than well shit. You couldn't kiss a snake in the ass with a 50-foot ladder. Oh you're my a god. You're a cocksucker and a motherfucker so and I bet you I bet you I bet you I bet you fuck it. your mother, don't you? You don't you fantasize about your mama? Well, I fantasize. You? I never Do actually did it though. I Do never boy? I never acted Go on it. Fuck yourself. If you want to hear all the craziness that led up to me being told how low I am, be sure to go listen to that hobo sode over on Patreon. That's the episode called Sushi High. Also, I need to find this clip from Devin's show because I was on her show this week on Wednesday night. She does a show every Wednesday night, and I think I hung around for most of her show. I know I was there till the end because I remember at the very end, I talked to this guy who thought that I was Justin Bieber, and he was completely convinced that I was Justin Bieber, some old man that really loves Justin Bieber and was tweeting at him on Twitter. He loves Justin Bieber so much that he slapped his dick on the phone for me. But that's not what I'm going to play here. I'm going to play a short clip from more near the beginning of Devin's show. Devin put this guy on the phone and asked me to change his number. And this is what happened. Now, look, um, my daughter is here with me at work today, and I left her unattended at my computer terminal. She's a teenager. She just was monkeying around in his account, and she changed the number. So I'm very sorry about that. It's our fault, but we're not charging you. The numbers just change. Oh, no, no, you're not charging me. You're giving me my phone number back. I'm not giving it up. Period. Oh, the, the, numbers just, 
or there's too much business tied to this phone number. I'm not giving it up. You need Under to fix it. On your son's okay, phone you, number? You leaving your computer unattended and letting your, your minor daughter mess up the phone number is not my problem. Okay, you need to fix this. Okay, sir, the phone number has been put on a blacklist of child child, <clears throat> child pornographers. And that's what I was telling them about the disconnected message. It's going to refer to that. But it's it's blacklisted. Okay, so don't we, stop. Okay, I no need to find out a lot more information than you're giving me. Okay, sorry, sir. What was that? I said, you need to give me a whole lot more information than you're giving me because I'm not buying this bullshit about, you know, child pornography and, and merging AT&T and Verizon. That's all horse shit, okay? You're saying that that number is tied to a lot of business stuff, but it's for your minor son. Something's not adding up here. It's almost like you're full yeah, of I shit. I own a lawn company, sir. Hey, you know what? It's none I of your lawn company. Stop, sorry. Okay, it's none of your business, what hey, my personal well, business is. Well, why would you? There are like, too many that, people that have that phone number. You're not going to come in here and roll over me and then change the phone number and act like it's no big deal. Sir. There's a big deal. Sir. Sir, why did you name your son after furniture? That's a short clip. It's kind of a long call. I will have a link to that in the show notes if you want to hear his response to why he named his son after furniture. Devin told me to say that. I don't know what that means. I don't know what the son's name was. But you should also listen to the call where I was Justin Bieber. Because, oh my God, what the hell was that? That was on the uh, May 13th, 2020 show, two days ago. You want to hear another man slap his dick on the phone for me? So I guess I can stop stalling now and just give you the bad news. This is a real bummer, so prepare to be bummed out and depressed for the rest of the show while you listen to hilarious prank phone calls. And hopefully you're not getting this news from me. Hopefully you've already heard about it because it's been all over Twitter and Facebook and Reddit and just everywhere if you're a part of the community. Carlito from the Madhouse Live show, who hopefully you all know, me and him have done a lot of stuff together. He died exactly one week ago today, last Friday, due to some health issues. And it's been a depressing week, everyone. I've been reading comments all week about Carlito on all of the different things. I'll have links in the show notes to all of the things, but this is not a joke. I'm not doing one of those hilarious jokes where a prank caller pretends he's dead. This is completely real. Carlito is no longer with us. That's why I played that Carlito prank on the beginning of the show. I was trying to find one where me and him are together, but I couldn't find any of those. Maybe I'm just bad at labeling stuff. But I think what I'm going to do, I mean, Carlito's been in several episodes of the Snowplow Show. Remember, we did the uh, the helicopter calls together once we were helicopter pilots. I know we did some cardings together. We've done homeowners association stuff together. The one that you heard on the beginning of today's show was from back in the days where we could call up Pizza Hut or Domino's Pizza and say, Hey, Pizza Hut, why don't you give me all of your customers' phone numbers? It's cool. I'm with the corporate office. And then they would. And then we'd call up the customers as the pizza place. And that's what Carlito was doing. He was pretending to be the pizza place, telling them about their high-risk delivery area, which was very offensive to that lady. So anyway, yeah, rest in peace, Carlito. Me and Dwight set up a GoFundMe to help his family with the funeral expenses. And I'll have a link to that in the show notes as well. It has gotten up to just crazy numbers, which is kind of amazing that the prank call community is giving a bunch of money to Carlito's family to help with funeral stuff and leaving really nice comments on the GoFundMe page. I set it up. It's under my name. I promise his family will get every cent of it. Minus GoFundMe's cut, I think they get like 3% or something. I was just going to pay that myself, you know, not worry about it. But holy crap, it's up really high right now. And the fees would be, I don't know, at least a couple hundred bucks. And then on Saturday, is that? Oh, no, that's not today. That's tomorrow. Tomorrow, Saturday, Dwight is doing a tribute show to Carlito. And I'm going to be on there with him. I think he's going to get a lot of people from the community on. I think he's not even going to do pranks. He's, He's saying maybe he'll do a few pranks, but... Maybe no pranks at all. He just wants to do kind of a Carlito memorial show, which I think will be awesome. I'm looking forward to that tomorrow night. If you want to be severely depressed and remember how awesome Carlito was, be sure to tune in tomorrow on Prank Call Nation. That starts at 7 o'clock Pacific time, and he broadcasts on YouTube and on Mixler.com slash Prank Call Nation. By the way, today's calls, I, I you know, I've done them already. And now I'm recording the intro after I did the calls, but today's calls are a little on the morbid side. I swear this has nothing to do with Carlito. This is just what happened today. Please don't hate me for the calls that you're going to hear today, because I try to do other things today and yesterday, 
nothing was working out. But this idea that I got, uh, anyway, you'll hear it in a minute. Radio Shack Storewide Manager's Red Tag Sale is on now. We've slashed prices 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%. Save on famous Radio Shack Hi-Fi, car stereo, radios, toys, TV games, calculators, walkie-talkies, and CB radios. Look for the big red tag. Save like never before on these and literally hundreds of red tag specials. Hurry into Radio Shack today. I want to try something today that um, was inspired by a tweet. Somebody tagged me in a tweet. His name is Casper the Ghoul. And he sent me this really disturbing video of this company that makes dual purpose hospital beds that are made out of cardboard but they double as a coffin you know so like if you have the covid and you're bedridden on your cardboard hospital bed with according to this video no sheets or pillows or anything looks super uncomfortable and why is the patient wearing boots and pants and stuff anyway this is apparently a real thing posted on telegraph.co.uk that's a real news site right i'm too lazy to go check but yeah you you lay down on these hospital beds and how convenient when you die they just fold the corners up or whatever and there you are in your coffin that's gonna inspire you to get better laying on a coffin and somebody else posted this in the discord in king richard's channel it's pretty weird i'll put a link to it in the show notes if you want to see a patient die and then be lowered into her coffin because holy shit, it's way too much work to move a body across the room into a coffin. Fucking lazy health workers. Anyway, Casper the Ghoul said um, with the tweet that he sent me, Hello, ma'am. This is Roy from the corporate office at Amazon. We accidentally put prime tape on a cardboard coffin and shipped it to your house. It may or may not have a body in it, which seems completely stupid and unbelievable. So, of course, I'm going to try this out. Hello? Hi, Hannah. Yeah. Hey, this is uh, Steve Dave from Amazon. Uh-huh. Um, we, um, we accidentally shipped a few things to your house, so they're going to arrive, and we're going to send someone to pick them up in a few days. Okay. Really sorry okay. about this. <laughs> That's okay. What was it? <laughs> um, well, it's, it's like seven items. They're coffins. Coffins? Yeah, like full-size coffins. A lot of people don't know that we sell coffins, but... Yeah, you can just leave them, like, outside, and uh, we'll send somebody to get them in a few days. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just, we'll have someone out there ASAP to pick them up. Sorry about this. It's just, like, a mistake. Is this, like, a real phone call? Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> but, okay. Uh, you, you're, you're not allowed to keep them, and please don't open them, okay? Like, don't try to open them. Okay, this is very weird. I won't, but... Oh, okay, I'm just saying, you know, like, it it's like could be like a biohazard or something. You just you don't want to be opening those. Why were they sent to me? Uh, it was just a, just a mistake in the computer. They, they put the wrong... It's like your address in a different city is the place they were supposed to go. So... Yeah, yeah, you know, just just one of those mistakes. But it's going to be like seven coffins. And I would not open them. But Is yeah, this just a joke. Oh no, no, I wouldn't kid about this. this. A joke. Oh no, I wouldn't kid about this. Just just leave them out there though. Like you don't have to do anything with them. They'll probably just drop them off in your driveway or whatever and we'll send someone out to pick yeah, them up. Yeah, no. What do you mean no? no? What? It's not okay. Oh, well, no, it's too late. They're already on the way. Yeah, no, I think this is a joke. It's not a joke, ma'am. Then can you it's send just... me an email? Sure. With, you, don't think, you don't think okay. jokes are possible through email, just over the phone only? Oh, I'm sure, but if I could where it came from okay sure yeah well we can't give you the customer's information it's just like a small error that's all all right okay i think this is a joke hey you I know what i, I think i think you're a joke someone higher okay thank you all right whatever ma'am whatever
I really want to imply that there are bodies in these coffins. But if it's coming from Amazon, there's not going to be bodies in there. So should I say I'm FedEx or UPS or something? Sent in a coffin? Or maybe I could say I'm the Center for Disease Control? That's okay to do, right? Hello. Hello, Brittany? Yes, this is her. Hey there, this is uh, Steve Day from UPS. Yes. Um, we're, we, we accidentally, I, I guess something's been accidentally shipped to your house. Uh, it's going to arrive mm-hmm. there today. It's going to be, uh, seven large boxes. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry about this. Just some sort of error somewhere. I think the customer put in the wrong address, but if, okay. if you could just leave them there and I guess the customer is going to come pick them up okay. in, in a couple of days. Um, oh, goodness. Yeah, they're they're gonna be really large. You can't even move them. Like they're 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 gonna have to stay out in the yard or driveway or whatever. Oh, uh, okay. But, they normally when they put packages, they put them on the porch. Yeah. But you saying because they so be it? Because I just don't want nobody to take them or do nothing. But you said they really be it. Oh, nobody can move. These are coffins, ma'am. Oh wow. Okay. So. And they have. Um. I was. Because I was expecting a package, but maybe it might not be through UPS. It's oh. small. Oh, like, yeah. These are not these are coffins. You know, like full-sized coffins. Well, six adult coffins and one child child coffin. Oh, wow. And they're just going to have to sit oh. out there for a couple days while the customer drives. They're, they're like two states away, so they're just going to drive out mm-hmm. and pick them up. Pick up those coffins. Oh. Okay. But um, you're not going to want to look inside the coffins, okay? So don't. I wouldn't open them up. Oh yeah, I wouldn't dare touch them. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. Yep. All right. Thank you. Okay, but yeah, yeah. Just uh, at some point today, the coffins are going to arrive. Okay. Seven thank you. coffins. Um. Okay. In your driveway, you. just for the weekend. I'm so sorry about this mistake. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe this is a terrible idea. You hear that, Google Casper? This is a terrible idea of yours. I just don't know how to make it work. Because why would UPS go ahead and deliver something if they knew it was the wrong address? And does Amazon even sell coffins? I'm going to look and see if they sell coffins. King Richard was asking the same question in the PLA Discord because somebody posted the story there about the cardboard coffins. Oh yeah, there they are. Coffins for $1,100. That seems to be the going rate. I assume they're full-sized. Maybe they're just like little dollhouse coffins, because of course little girls love coffins in their dollhouses. But you know, it could be a trick. $1,600. Oh wow, a coffin vanity case. That's cool. Only 150 bucks for that. Yeah, Amazon sells coffins, everyone. If you're in the market for a coffin, I don't know how much they go for at, like, a funeral home or whatever, but maybe they'll price match with Amazon. You know what we should do? We should, um, I don't know, raise some money together. Let's all raise $1,100 together. Oh, wait, no, here's the discount one, $999. And let's just send a coffin to somebody. Who could we send a coffin to? I'm sure that wouldn't be taken as a threat. Hello. Hi, Mr. Yes, Pitt. Hello, what, huh? You called me. I know. I know you interrupted when I was talking. This is Steve Day from UPS. I'm bringing a delivery to you today. I just wanted to make sure you guys oh. are home. Okay. Because it's kind of a large oh, thank you. It's, a, it's a large delivery. It's going to be three large, really, really large boxes. Hmm. I'm not really expecting it, but we'll see what we get in there. Okay. Well, it's, uh, it's three coffins. So you are going to be there to to sign for them and everything? You know, I'm not sure what you're talking about, pal. Coffins, buddy. I'm delivering you coffins. Three coffins. And who is this again? This, who this, is this again, please? This, this is Steve Day from UPS. Remember, I called you. I, to- yeah. I already told you this. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, I don't like your attitude, for one thing. Well, and I didn't like your attitude when I called why. you. I called you, and you're like, eh, and you're like interrupting me and saying, you called me, pal. All right, I'm sorry. Me, me and that guy just did not get along. Hello, Hello Tina? Yeah. Hey there, uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm from Amazon. 
Mm -hmm. uh, we accidentally shipped a few things to your house that, that are going to arrive today. Okay. It's just, uh, I'm sorry. It's hard to hear you. What was that? Are we on speakerphone? Yes. Nothing has arrived yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're going to know when they arrive. They're going to be, it's going to be um, uh, 14 really large boxes. I, I guess you're going to have to leave them outside. It, we're gonna send okay. we're gonna send someone to pick them up. Okay. But the boxes are actually coffins. Oh. So you're gonna well, have. Don't want them. Well, yeah, I know they're not for you. Um, it's just you know we accidentally sent you fourteen coffins. Fourteen coffins. Yeah. Do you have like room out in your driveway? Because they're gonna drop those off today. I think they're coming mm. through FedEx. No. <sighs> No, I don't have room. Well, like in the lawn, can we put four, 14 coffins in your lawn? No, you cannot put... No, I don't want... I just moved here. Our house just got built. We're just um, we seeding our grass, and I don't want 14 coffins on my lawn. Well, you know, you'll kind of be the talk of the, the neighborhood, you know? It'll be a conversation piece to meet your neighbors. No, that's not funny. Okay. No, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm very sorry. This is an accident. We didn't mean to send you 14 coffins. But they're going to arrive today. It's out of our hands. They're coming FedEx. Uh, I have the tracking no, number if you um, want. I'm you know what? You need to keep them on the truck. Oh No, it's not our truck. It's FedEx. We, we can't stop FedEx from bringing them. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, there's no signature required, so they're just going to drop oh, them off. Oh, no, up. no. Uh, we're going to have a problem. But you better not put no 14 coffins. Ma'am, they've already they've already been sent. There's nothing we can do at this point. We don't run uh, FedEx. No. Well, you're gonna have to um, you're gonna have to figure something out. Okay. Well, I've figured it out. I've decided to call you and let you know that you're gonna have to have these coffins in your lawn for a couple days. Wait well, a second. Let me get my husband. Hold on one second. Why? Why can't you handle it yourself? Uh, that's not your business, Karen. Karen. What's his name? Karen? Karen. Karen. They're just calling me talking about they're about to drop off 14 coffins in our front lot because they made a mistake. Uh, uh, Amazon, they made a mistake and they're about to drop off and that's beyond their control. They're not, no, they're not. And they're going to put it in our grass. No, they're not. That's what I said. No, you're not. And he said, why do I need to talk to you? Why can't I just make a decision? Who? This man on the phone. You on the nail? He's on here right now. I'm not dropping no four coffins. I'm like, you're stupid. He said, well, it'll be funny. Hello? Oh, hello. Uh, this is Steve Day from Amazon. I was just explaining to that wife of yours that it's just a mistake. We, we just accidentally... That wife of mine. Well, you know, the way she's acting... But, but, like, they, they were supposed to send it to a completely different address. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, it was just supposed to go to a different address. So we're going to send someone out to pick them up. But FedEx is going to bring them to your house. No, they're not. Oh, yes, they are. No, they're, they are. They're out for delivery today. I have the tracking number. Do you want the tracking number? You're not dropping no 14 coffins off in my house, sir. Well, it's not me. Oh, yeah. it's, it's FedEx. It's just an, an accounting error. They, they sent them to the wrong address. It's, just, it's like an honest mistake. I will sit outside and wait on FedEx and tell him he, he's not going to do it. It's about to, be, it's about to be a scene over here. Okay, well, that, that's, it's, it's be. that's a little weird that you're going to try and cause a scene. He's just doing his job. He's just making a delivery. And, and I, I, tr I tried to tell that wife of yours that it was just a simple... Hey, okay, look, you know what? You know what? I don't even, I don't even need to talk to you anymore, man. You don't, don't disrespect my wife. Oh, no, I'm not disrespecting her. I was just, I was just saying that, that like, the, the way that wife of yours was acting, like, she's acting like it's my fault, and I'm just, I'm just a worker here at Amazon. Um, can you tell her to shut the fuck up? What, what's she, what's she y'all screaming in the background for? Tell her to shut up. <laughs> This is a joke. This is a joke. Why would you say it's a joke? This is a joke, man. Well, sir, you need to control that wife of yours. <laughs> All right, man. You're, you're fine. Who, who is this, man? Is this somebody from work? 
Yeah, it's 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 Ted. Will you tell her to shut up, though, for real? <laughs> yeah, he's playing. He's playing. He's playing. He's playing. Oh, I would too. Anyway, I'm hanging up now. It's been fun. All right. T tell that wife of yours I love her. All right. Tell, tell your wife or your mommy. Tell your mom I love her. Okay. Oh, what? You don't think I have a wife? No, I don't know what you got. Okay. I don't know what you got. I know you got a mother. I don't know. So what, I love her. I don't know what you're implying, but okay. I'll tell my okay. mother. Yeah, tell bye. Your mom. Tell you, bye. That mom of mine. You tell that mom of yours <laughs> that, I love, that I love her. Okay. Bye, Terrence. All right. Bye. I kind of suck for letting that one go so quick. I could have had him going for a while. Stupid me. Sorry, everyone. I love that I got to say that wife of yours again, though. That's always fun. Hello? Hello, <laughs> Igor? Yes, it's me. Oh, hello. This is Steve Dave from UPS. Okay. And um, I delivered a package to you today. Mm-hmm. What, uh, what package? Uh, it's a very large box. Uh, I left it over on the corner, though. I didn't want to come to your house. So I just... I okay. You know where uh, the you, you're in the house, and I would like to speak to you, because yesterday you pick up, need to pick up, I don't know, you or other guy, five boxes. Okay? Okay. And I don't know, my supervisor sent to UPS or not label, because you pick up only four boxes. Uh, one box is left in the house. I didn't like. And I, uh, uh? I didn't like the way that fifth box was looking at me. Give me a look. Okay, I right now I will come to the house. Okay. You're gonna come to my house. The house. Oh, your house. Not your my house. Their house. We didn't bring it to your house. You know, you know where the stop sign is over on the corner. I am sorry, you uh, brought to my house or where? I, I can understand what you are oh, you talking about. Yeah, well, you know, I delivered a coffin today, and I left it over on the corner by the stop sign. I didn't want to bring it all the way to your house. I can understand. I didn't order it nothing. What are you talking about five boxes, four boxes? What? This is the uh, Department of Transportation warehouse. The you need to pick up these boxes. I, I, I can understand what are you talking about. Well, I'm calling about those you four did. boxes because I, I, like, I, you know, I, I, there's a small problem with the fourth box, with the fifth box. Yes. You still have a fifth box? You, yeah, yeah. Yesterday, I don't know, you or somebody pick up four boxes. Mm hmm Okay. And uh, today I checked, you left one boxes in the house. Yeah. You didn't pick up, you didn't pick up very big boxes. Yeah. You said, too I, heavy. Don't, I don't have label, yeah, yeah. for this box. But, I, I couldn't understand. I called to my supervisor, and uh, basically she need to be hey, sent to hey. UP. Huh? That, <coughs> that fifth you box? You are talking about the... You are talking about these boxes. Yeah, well, I said it was the label, but you know what? I really just didn't want to carry a fifth box. Four boxes is my limit. That's my philosophy. I only carry four boxes, not five boxes. Yes. You need to pick what up I look this like? box. What? You need to pick up this box. Yeah. This label. I'll get it like, yeah. I'll get it next month. Uh, would you please, I can come, right now, where are you? I am over on Greenleaf Drive. Where? Way across town on Greenleaf Drive. <coughs> um, this is 30, 30 Street. Yeah, I know. Hey, you know what? I will come to the house, and I will see you, okay? Okay, come over to the Department of Transportation's house.
Yeah, yeah, I will come right now. Okay, okay. all right. Hey, when you okay. get here, when okay. you get here, I'm gonna give you a hug. Okay, not hug. <laughs> no, I'm gonna hug you and I'm gonna kiss you on the cheek. Okay, okay. I'm gonna, I will come. Right I'm gonna now. kiss okay? you. I'm gonna give you a kiss. Okay. Come to my house. Okay. I'm gonna mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay. I will come right now. Okay. Mwah. Because I a little bit don't understand. Uh, today I cheered and uh, Ruby said you pick up only four boxes. Yeah. Fuck, fuck that fifth yeah. box. Yeah. Fuck and five, uh, uh, this box you didn't pick up. And I called to my supervisor and said, did you send label uh, to not label uh, request? For UPS, for pickup. Yeah. And maybe today you need pick up this box. Maybe. And uh, maybe I will. Maybe, maybe I won't. Uh, yeah. And uh, uh, on Monday or Tuesday, I uh, she will send uh, uh, label uh, other seven boxes. You need pick up these seven boxes. Seven. Right now, There's seven my, now. No, 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 no. Maybe Monday or Tuesday. Oh, okay. Okay, I will come right now. I'm only going to okay? take four of them. Four at a time. That's all I ever do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I ain't no He-Man okay. over here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to give you a hug. Okay, thank you. Hug and a kiss. I'm going to kiss you on the mouth with tongue. Uh, okay, okay. All right, bye. Mm-hmm. All right, that didn't go as I expected. You have reached the voicemail box of... Uh -huh. Oh, so you'll pick up on the second time I call, but not the first time. Yeah, that's how it works when you don't know the number. Okay, <laughs> all right, whatever. Anyway, this is UPS. Uh, I delivered you a package today. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, I didn't bring it to your house, though. I put it on the corner because it's heavy. On the, on the corner? Yeah, you know, like, as you leave your house, you go to the left, and there's a stop sign, like, up the street a bit. Yeah, how you don't leave it on the corner, though? Uh, it's just, you know, it's really heavy. It's, like, really, really heavy. Do you have, like, a dolly or, um, you know, just a way to what move? What kind of package is it? It's a coffin. Oh, that's not a coffin. Yeah. I thought you put a dead body in? Well, yeah, I don't know if there's a dead body in it. I just, the delivery person, it's none of my business. I don't open the boxes. I don't. I think you got the wrong. I I didn't I didn't order nothing. Oh, is this Pamela? Yeah, who's this? Oh, it has your name on it. It's uh, on one o lane. I didn't order no coffin. Oh, okay. Well, it's over there. It's over in the corner. It's got your name on it, big letters. Uh, you got to go no, over there and pick that up. You know where the stop sign is? Like right, right at the intersection. No, area? no, no, no. Yes, there. It's over on the corner for you. I didn't want to bring it up the steps and everything. I don't have... Who, who is this? What's your name? My name's Steve Dave. I work for... I'm the UPS driver. Now, aren't you I'm glad so you picked confused. up your phone the, the second time? Because, you know, this is an important call. It's like business. You're just... No, I'm it's not, even not business. It is, too. It's my business. I, I'm letting you know about your coffin. It's over on the corner. No, it's not. What it's not mean? my business. It's not my coffin. It's not my corner. It's none of that. Okay, well, it's over there, and it's got your name on it, so... I didn't every, order nothing. Everyone's going to know it's yours. You need to go over there and get it. Who like, is this? You're probably going to need to bring, like, somebody with you to, you know, take an end. <laughs> Who is this playing games, man? I'm not playing games. <laughs> what are you talking about? Who is this playing? This is Steve Dave from play. UPS. Steve, what's your last name? Steve, I don't have a last name. It's it's like one name. I just have a first name. Steve Dave. Yeah, I've never, ever. Y'all don't do calls. You don't do calls? Yeah, don't, UPS don't do calls. Uh, yes, we do. The phone number is on the package. I have my cell phone in the truck. And that's why I'm calling you. Calling you to let you know that your package is over there on the corner. By the you stops. never. You All my packages come straight to me. I know, but this is a this is a special case. This is a really large coffin, and it's very heavy. I'm a sure. very large coffin. First, <laughs> who orders coffins? First of all, 
second of all, y'all have to do a, a lift test before you even get hired. And if you can't pass the lift test, then you don't need to be driving because all the drivers need to be able to lift. You ain't got no muscle, then you need to quit your job. And find well, you no, I usually don't have to move something. coffins. It weighs hundreds of pounds. So I just use the dolly. It don't matter. I it's part of the job. It's part of the job. Okay, you can't, well, your dolly, you should have a job. You should have a dolly on the back of your truck. I do. I have a dolly. That's how I got it out on the corner. I can't move that thing by myself. You need to go over there and get it. <laughs> I don't play games. I'm a Christian. I'm, so, so if you if you can't get it, and you're a whole grown man, then I'm supposed to be able to get it. Well, you sound like a I'm big so heifer of a woman. So, Ooh, a who? so I, a what? I'm betting you can probably you you could probably kick my can ass. I, so, I mean, what? Who is this playing games? So you'll be mind. fine. Just go over there and. I'm not going to no corner. Who is this? Pull up, whoever you are. Just I'm, drop it off. I'm already on my way to my next delivery, which is a nice, normal-sized no. delivery that I can walk up to their door because they don't order who coffins on Amazon. Game with me. Oh, you know, who, I don't even shop at Amazon because I'm not a Prime member. So I know you tripping. I don't, I don't shop at Amazon. I, I shop at the real store, the retail store. So okay. who is just playing games on my phone? That's why I don't answer unknown calls for this kind of stuff. Who's this playing? I'm not playing. I'm the UPS driver. I let you know what I needed to let you know. So and pull up. That's all come it. back. Come back around. I don't want come to. Come back around. I don't, you got an attitude. Like. I don't. What? Why do you want to see what I look like? I'm taken, ma'am. I want to see what you look like. I, I want to see if you got some muscles because uh, you uh, you can't lift. I'm gonna have to call UPS and tell them they need to give you another lift test because you can't handle your I job. I know how to lift. Do you know how heavy a coffin is? It's probably like 600 pounds. I think there's a body in it. It don't matter. If, if, if you work for UPS, you're supposed to be able to pick up the box. You put it on your truck, right? Then you load it. You didn't load it. Who you loaded know what? the truck? You know anymore? what? You're, you're not my fucking supervisor, so why don't you shut the fuck up? Who is this? This is Steve Dave from UPS. Go over there and get your Steve box. Day. Steve, how you spell your name? S-T-E-V-E-D-A-V-E. -E -E. Steve Dave. So you got two first names? No, it's one first name. It's Steve Dave. How old are you, Steve? 47. You're 40. How long have you been working with UPS? That's none of your business. Stay out of my business. I'm, what do you I think you the, are? Uh, I I know the CFO over there. I'm gonna ask him about you. Yeah, right. What's the CFO's name? I do know. Him oh, who is it personally. then? Personally, what's oh okay? What's the name? Give me the name. Yeah, you don't know him. You you're, don't you're just know. making up shit. No, I really do. No, I really. really oh, really? Do. How come you He's can't tell original. me the name? Because what's understood don't have to be explained. If you know who he is, then I don't have to. Well, if I already know who he is, I, I mean, I work there. Like, why can't you just well, tell me my CFO's name? Well, I'm about to ask him about Steve Day. I, I don't know about no two first names. I'm not telling you because you can't handle your lift test. You, you know, I can, I can have, okay. my name can be anything I want. So no, don't, 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 don't make <laughs> you fun don't of my name. You don't determine your name. You can have your name <laughs> legally like? changed to whatever you want. You didn't do that, though. E Elon Musk named his baby after a robot. Who? Elon Musk. Oh, named he named his baby after a robot. Yeah, it's like 2XL or something. Who is this? Anyway, I got to go. You know, I have deliveries to make. No, I can't just I'm sit not. here and... You ain't got no deliveries. Yes. Oh, Who is this? You ain't got you no deliveries. I got plenty. They always drop some boxes off in my front door. That's how I know you ain't real because... I thought you shopped at real me. stores. He knows me personally. I thought you shopped I at real stores. I do shop at real stores, but the UPS man who delivers my packages every day, he knows me personally, so I know you're not the UPS because the same UPS and the same FedEx driver comes and deliver my packages. So, so you and him are having are. like a little little, little thing on the side? No, nah, nope, not at all. Getting a little UPS man action? Not at all. He just, he just knows. He just knows, hey, here you got another one. Here you got another one. You got another one. My, That's just my, how it works. My CFO warned me about customers like you. Now, I know the CFO personally. No, so you don't. No. You don't even know the CFO's name. Yes, I do. I really do. You can't even tell I me really the CFO's first name. You don't even, you don't know him. 
You don't I know. Mean, personally, I'm gonna ask him about a Steve Day who told me I got a call. Oh, go ahead. You know what? At the I'll corner, put him on the freeway. And you can't pass the lift test. You need to find another job because you can't pass your lift test. You ain't fit for duty. Weird. Like nobody's ever complained before. I've, I've worked here for years and never Not had a problem. You nah. You're the, nah. You're the fucking weirdo ordering coffins off of Amazon. <laughs> I don't shop at Amazon. I just told you that. Yeah, I'm not you, a Prime member. If my you, packages you, you, don't come free, I don't get them shipped. Yeah, you shop at real stores where they send your shipping. packages via UPS. Well, they send it free. But can you do me a favor, though, since you out riding? Can you pick up my uh, pick me something up at Lowe's? They, okay. they just send me a message that is ready for pickup. Can okay, you sure, yeah. Over there? I'll do that. <laughs> How you you got my name, my information. Just go to Lowe's on 25th Street and say, hey, I'm here to pick up. You already got my information, and then you can drop me. Why, why are you against saying out. names? Your name's Pamela. What? <laughs> I'm against saying names. You got my information. I don't was understood. Well, you won't say the plain. CFO's so name. If you You're got, my, if you you got my name, I don't have to repeat my name. Okay, listen here. How, how are you going to pay me for this Lowe's pickup and delivery? I'm gonna pay you. Are you gonna pay me the I same way you pay the other guy? Oh, for you to go to Lowe's and pick it up. Yeah, I'll pay you. That's cool. I'll pay you. How really? much you need? Oh I'll pay you. no, I'm not. I'm not talking I'll money. I'll pay you. I'm not talking money. Oh lord. I'm talking oh, action. That's it. I ain't everything money. You talking about who? I'm talking about action. What is action? A little bit of bedroom action. I don't. I don't know. Or maybe about kitchen that. table action. I'm, I'm not about that life right now. Mm-hmm. You said you were with the other okay. UPS driver. I did not. Yes, you did. did. You, you said that. he comes every day and puts his package in you. I is. Oh. <laughs> I said he comes every day and delivers a pa and delivers a package. Mm -hmm. You do a ding dong and that's it. Oh you yeah, <laughs> delivers a package with his ding dong. <laughs> I see what you're saying. I get it. Wink, no. wink. Ring the ring the doorbell. Yeah, ding rings dong. the doorbell. If you know what I mean. Okay, anyway, I got to go to Lowe's. I'll see it in a little bit. You play? No, I'm serious. I ain't playing. I am, too. You going to Lowe's for real? 25th Street? Yeah, 25th Street. I go there all the time. I'll, I'll see you in a little bit. Do you really? Yeah. What you be going to Lowe's for, Steve? What? What you be going to Lowe's for? Uh, for gardening supplies. Are you a gardener? Yeah. Do you, are you really? I'll show you how well I garden, what if you know you what I mean. Do? Uh-oh. No, I don't. I don't know nothing about that life, Steve. Mm -hmm. yeah, you well, going to What time are you going to Lowe's we'll so I see. can let them know you're coming? I well, can give them your name. It's, it's, them know. I'm, I'm, I'm heading up. for my lunch break, so I'll just do it on my lunch break. I can come lunch right break. back. Y'all don't get lunch breaks. Y'all know you lying now. Bullshit, we don't. Y'all don't get lunch Why would you, we? you do not get no lunch break. Driving no truck. You just do your, your deliveries, and when you're done, that's it. You, you think, get to go home. You think we don't get lunch Any breaks? Any driver don't don't take lunch breaks. You, you no, think, you just keep it pushing. You think we don't get bathroom breaks either? You, know, you can take a bathroom break, but you don't get a, a standalone, a carved-out lunch break where, hey, here is 30 for an hour, 30 minutes to an hour, where you can just go and do your own thing. No, you don't do that when you're a driver. That's don't, you act like you work for UPS or something, and you don't. I know the game. I know how it works. So you don't. So See, no game. It's my job. You, it ain't your job if you think you get a lunch break and you're a driver. Anyway, I'm going to go it pick up your shit. All drivers know. I'm going to go pick up your shit, and then you know what? We're gonna. I'm going to come Are and bring really? it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm so serious. Okay. I'm serious. It's, I really do have a package up there. It's paid for, right? But can you? Yeah. Can you pick something else up while you're there? What, you want me to get McDonald's on the way? No, something in Lowe's. What? No, I just want to pick up. I don't, don't want to go it. shopping for you. Come on. I'll do it online. No way it's already there. You ain't got to go through the okay. house. Okay, listen. Listen. Cool. listen here. I'm going to go get your package, and I'll bring it over, and then we're going to fuck. Oh. Okay? Oh. What? <laughs> so I'll see you in a little bit. What's wrong with you, Steve? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing's wrong. What are you talking about? Uh, why are you talking to me like that? You're, what? You Don't asked for it. Me. You asked for it. No, you're the one talking about there's a package on the corner. You're the one talking about ding-dongs. No, that's the doorbell.
You don't even have a doorbell. Your mind in a gutter. Okay. How do you know? If you didn't, pull, you didn't, you didn't get out the truck to see. I've delivered stuff to you before. Okay, if you have a doorbell, go over and ring it. Let's hear it. No, I don't do that. See, you don't have a doorbell. You don't have a doorbell, and you don't I'm know the CFO. Home. I'm not at home right now. Where are you at? Why? I don't know. I'm on how, my lunch break. If, if how, how are we gonna fuck if if you're not home? Oh, why? <laughs> No, I said I pay you to pick up my package. Okay, I'll listen. Pay you. I'll put, I, I I'll put some money. I'll cash out. You got cash out? You got Zelle, one of them? Yeah, I'll yeah. send you some money. Put some money in your account, a little extra. I'll do okay. that for you. All it's right. Friday. You didn't get paid today? I get paid every week. You didn't get your check today? In, in addition Fine, to the we'll fucking, pay. you're going to pay me. Sounds good. I'll see you soon. No, negative. I'll see you Why soon. Why are you rushing me off the phone? I got, a, I got shit to do. We've been on the phone for like 15 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> You picking up my package? I'm so serious. Yeah. And you're, late, later, you're gonna pick up my package you know, if you know gonna, what I you mean. You're gonna have to assemble it. You're gonna have to assemble it too because it don't come already yeah, assembled. Yeah, we'll, so we'll we'll see how good you are in bed, and then we'll talk about can, that. Can you see how to assemble stuff? Are you good at that? You good with your hands? Yeah, yeah. I'm, you ain't good with your hands. No, I work. am. I'm a gardener. I'll show you how good I am with my hands if you know what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean. Okay, what mean. I'll show you what I mean. See you soon. Are you picking them up? Quit rushing me off the phone. I gotta, I've got. i been Are trying you? to hang up for 15 minutes. i got to go. Go get your damn All coffin. Right. I'm going I'm to I'm plug your number in. I'm, I'm going to get on your nerves. You better not plug my number in. Also, now I'm about to call the CFO and tell them you're delivering stuff on the corner. Which CFO are you going to call? And, and you, don't, you, you need to do a lift test because you can't, you can't handle the weight. If you can't handle the weight, you need to get a new job. Your mom's a lift test. No, no. Oh, we got a smart mouth. My mom, you say my mom, you leave my mom out of this. I don't play the mama jokes. Same time about my mama. Sorry. Truth hurts, we right? Got to, I have to fight you. You start, you start talking about my mama. That's fighting words. You know? Yeah. You, oh, we'll you fight all right in the mouth. bedroom. Okay, got to go. Listen, Steve, you picking up, what time you picking up? Okay, I hung up on her. I can't take any more of that. Uh, you know what I have to do now, though? Because she told me she has a package over at Lowe's or a delivery or a, a pickup order. That's what it is. So, of course, I'm going to be calling up Lowe's now and checking on her order. Or what should I do? I feel like maybe I can get them to write on one of her boxes, Steve Dave loves you. No, they're not going to write that. What can I do? I can just get them to write the name Steve Dave on the box. But it's not going to be like a box box. It's going to be like products and stuff. Thanks for calling Lowe's. How can I help you? Hi. Um, can I check on the status of my order pickup? Uh, sure. What's your order number? Oh, I don't know the order number. Can I do by name? I'm sorry. Uh, why are you sorry? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, you said you don't have your order number? No, I'm sorry. I'm just a woman. Was this an online order? Yeah. So if, did they send you an email saying that it was ready? Oh, I don't have internet. Is there any way like, like to look under my name? How how did you order online if you don't have internet? Uh, just on my phone. I, I'm sorry, I'm confused. It was an online order or it was not an online order? Yeah, yeah, it's online. Okay, so if you ordered it online, then you use the internet to do that. You oh, no, that, no, uh, I use my phone. But, but do you have I'm, a, I'm, is, is it already there, like for Pamela? It said this was the option for, to check on the status of my order. If, yeah, if, if you ordered online, you would have had to use the internet to do that. I'm still. I use my phone. Even if you, even if you used your phone, you would have been using it online. Oh, I don't know about that. It's just a phone. Are you it's saying not you, the made a phone, you made a, you made a phone call? No, it, it's an app. Is this, right, are, right. You, are you like, are you the person I would come up to to, to pick up my package? Uh, this is the customer service desk, yeah. So is that the person, are you, is this the right number? Did I get the right number? Uh, yeah, did they, I mean, if you ordered online, they would have had to have some way to get in touch with you to tell you that the order was ready. 
Oh, yeah. I don't know. My phone's been acting wonky. Is there any way to see if my package is there waiting for me? I, no, I mean, you know, here, give me your give me your last name and give me your phone number. Okay, it's... Uh, and what's the phone number? Uh, seven... Two. All right, hang on a second. Okay. Jeez. Okay, so it looks like you ordered a lawn sprinkler. Uh-huh, that, yeah. Uh, okay, that's uh, expected on or after the 20th. And there was uh, a push mower. That's uh, also expected on or after the 21st. Wow, it takes forever. Yeah, sorry about that. It's okay. Uh, why, like, is it just, like, really heavy? You have to go in the back room and get it and all that? Uh, some of it's being shipped here. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Uh, so nothing's ready today? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Ah, balls. Balls, balls, balls. Is there any way I can change the order? Can I just, like, add a bunch of weird shit onto it? Uh, no, you'd have to place a new order. Ah, that's no fun. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. It's pretty easy to look up my order just under my name and phone number, wasn't it? I, to I told you I didn't have the internet. Uh, yeah, the app is the internet. There, there, there has to be some way that they get in touch with you. I mean, I see there's an email associated with this at gmail.com. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's my email. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry. So none of this is ready yet today. Ah, shit. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, can, can you just add some random thing onto it? I don't know. No, I'm sorry. I can't do that. Uh, is there any way you could, can you add, can you, can you put the name, like when you get the labels, can you, can you add a name? Can you put like, uh, you know, if you hang on one second. Pamela in care of Steve Dave? Okay, I hung up. I got tired of waiting. He just put me on hold forever. Some lady came on at one point and didn't know what was going on, and I just gave up. It would have been funny to add the name Steve Dave in there somewhere, so it'd be on her paperwork. She probably wouldn't have even noticed it, though. So what's the point? What am I doing? And what the hell? She told me to come and pick up her shit. It's not even ready. Does she really think it's there today, or is she just messing with me? <phone rings> Lady's full of shit. This is Stacy. Hey, Stacy. It's Steve Dave from Amazon. Hi, Steve. How are you? Pretty good. Hey, we accidentally shipped something to you. It's going to arrive today through UPS. Okay. And I'm uh, just sorry about that. We're going to send we're going to send the customer over to pick it up. Okay, so something's coming to my porch that's not for me. But well, not the porch. It's going to have to go in the driveway. It's very large. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Something's going to be dropped off in my driveway that's not mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. it's 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 going to be uh, 20 coffins. What? It, the local, your funeral home, like they ordered them. Uh, Is this a joke, Paul? Uh, oh, no, I wouldn't kid about a coffin. That's, that's not, that's in poor taste. So, yeah, they're, they're just, you know, they said they'll probably try to be there this weekend. Why don't you just but, reroute it if it hasn't been delivered yet? It's well, Friday. it's out of our hands at this point. It's already on the UPS truck, and I guess he's driving around, and they're going to bring 20 coffins over. Nothing we can do with no, this. I'll just, tell, I'll just tell him to leave with it because it doesn't belong here. Oh, no, they're just... Okay, she figured out a way around that one. Yeah, there really is no reason why UPS couldn't just be alerted to, to go to the correct address. Over there to the, the Royco Mortuary. Hello. Hello, Juwan? Yes, sir. Whoa, you, your, your phone sounds terrible. This, this, is Ke this is Kevin from UPS? Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm calling to let you know you don't have any packages today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'll, okay, Kevin from UPS, uh... What do you mean I don't have any packages? What? Uh, well, you know, sometimes you have packages coming in, but today there's none for you. 
Okay. <laughs> I so, appreciate that, man. You shouldn't expect any packages. Okay. Thanks a lot, man. What's all that noise in the background? Uh, I'm at work, man. What's the noise, though? That didn't answer my question. You said you coming from who? UPS. You know the delivery trucks? Big brown trucks? What? Now we don't get to know what the noise was. That's bullshit. Hello, this is Jeff. Hey, Jeff. This is uh, Steve Dave from UPS. Hello. Hello. I'm just calling to let you know you don't have any deliveries today. All right. Uh, I think you might have the wrong number because it's pretty rare that I get a phone call saying I'm not getting something. Oh, well, is this Jeff? Yes. On West Boulevard? Yes. Yeah, I'm looking at the computer right now. There's no deliveries for you. Nothing's out on the truck. Nothing's coming today. All right. Very good. So <coughs> Thank you. you don't Appreciate have it. Okay, we're going to be calling you once an hour just to let you know. <laughs> You're joking, right? Oh, no, I wouldn't kid about this. It's a new service. you got to be kidding me. No, is this, is this like a candid camera or something? Why do I need to know once an hour from UPS that I'm not going to get a delivery? So you know not to expect it. So you can, you know, you don't have to hang out at the house. You can go out and do your, your just normal stuff. Uh, not have to worry okay, about it. Well, I don't get enough UPS deliveries to need that service. So. Oh, no, you've been uh, signed just, up for it. We've already, it's, it's, uh, you're signed up by default. Well, no, unsign me for it, or else I'm, you're gonna, we're going to start having a problem. There's All no right? way to opt out of it. Like, as a UPS customer... Yes, there is a way to opt out of it. Sir! You're either full of shit, or you will stop calling me. Sir, we're going to call once an hour, just to let you know. Because, you know, things okay, can well, change. Then, then, then I'm going to call the co I'll contact the police then. No. Like for you're harassment. A, you're a customer. You're, you're going to call the police. No, I'm over not a customer. Bad cus you I'm are not too. a customer you've of had, UPS. You've had deliveries. Don't fight me. Kiss my ass and don't ever call me again. Sir. Sir. Fuck you. Oh, he hung up in mid-insult. Hello, this is Jim. Hey, Jim. This is uh, Steve Dave from UPS. Hey. Hi. Uh, I'm calling to let you know that the uh, your delivery is on the way today. It's going to be there within an hour. Okay. Um, are you going to be home? Because it's kind of a large delivery. Oh, uh, okay. So this is my personal residence? Well, it's uh, it's the plane. I don't know which, what your personal... Yes. Okay. Yep, that's right. Yep. Uh, there will be nobody home, no. Oh, okay, so we should we just leave them on the porch? You know you're getting seven coffins, right? Coffins? Yeah. Huh. Uh, I don't know what coffins are. Are they like, we're dead people? You bury dead people or something? Yes, yes. Um, just regular, normal size coffins. Very, very large and very heavy. Like for a mortuary, a coffin. Yes. Yes, you ordered uh, several coffins. <laughs> That's funny, because I know we didn't order any coffins. Oh, okay. Well, they're on the truck. They're going to be there in a little bit. So should okay. we just, is there a room on the porch, or should they just leave them in the driveway? <laughs> is this a joke or something? Oh, no, I wouldn't kid about coffins. <laughs> uh. So who's the manufacturer of those coffins? I am not a coffin expert, sir. I'm just the delivery driver. Okay. Well, what you, you know where they came from. Obviously. Oh, yeah. They're from Amazon. They're from Amazon. Correct. And the boxers are, are 14 foot long by whatever? Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're full-size coffins. Yeah. Just deliver them to my business then. Oh, no. We'll no I, I have to do it on the address that's here on the... On the, on the on the computer. Huh? Huh? Huh. That's interesting. Is it interesting? I mean, like, it's it's pretty standard, you know? Like, you put the address in when you made the order for your coffins, and that's where we're going to send them. <laughs> okay. Um, so we'll, we'll probably just come pick them up then. And there's seven of them? Yeah, seven coffins. You're going to pick them up at the address that we're dropping them off at? 
Hang on, let me check my wife. Are you or seven coffins? Well, what kind of coffins? They're, 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 they're all kind of co there's there's a couple like white ones with gold handles there's like the the brownish reddish ones with they, they, they're all you know they're all nice ones and what, how many are you with i'm with ups i'm just the ups driver huh and i ordered seven coffins yes somebody did i don't know <laughs> yeah, and and why are why is he calling? Do know where to put them? Yeah, do know where to put them. If you yeah, want we to don't. Order. Yeah, we don't want them. I didn't order any coffins. Oh, they're coming today. I just wanted to see if you're home or see if I should leave them in the lawn or. <laughs> so you're gonna say, you're gonna put coffins in my lawn. Yeah, I'm glad this is funny to you. I'm just trying to make a delivery. Well, I don't know why you would think it would be appropriate to put coffins in my lawn. Sir, can you tell that wife of yours just to shut the fuck up? Well, you shut the fuck up. Well, you're being kind of irritating, you know, just shut, <laughs> shut the fuck up and let the men speak, okay? Where's your supervisor? I can transfer you to Carol. Why do you need to... <laughs> Carol, let's see if she tells me to shut the fuck up. Sorry, what? Go ahead and transfer me to Carol. It's, it's, it's hard to hear you over your husband's guffawing. <laughs> Here, I'll tell my husband to shut the fuck up. So let me talk to Carol. Okay, I got a transfer. Can you hold on one second? Absolutely. Okay, just a minute, please. All of our representatives are currently busy. Please stay on the line, and your call will be answered by the next available representative. Shut the fuck up. You're a fucking cunt. Shut the fuck up. You're a. Weird, she hung up. I thought there'd be a bunch more laughter from that one for playing that song, but nope. Apparently she'd had enough of me. So that was the very last number on Frankie's list. I called up his entire list of people. I think he had like a thousand people on there or 900. Thank you, Frankie, for all of those numbers. I've been calling off of those for, I don't know, at least a month now. We had pretty good luck with all of those. So that's going to do it for today's show. Thank you. Uh, who sent this again? Casper the Ghoul. Thank you, Casper the Ghoul, for posting this on Twitter and whoever else posted it on the Discord. If you want to see a hospital patient lying on top of their coffin, I will have a link in the show notes so you can watch the video of that. Hey, Brad. It's I with Brad Jumping. Hey. i uh, got a question for you. Okay. What do you get when you cross a cell phone and a pair of glasses? I don't know. What do you get when you cross a cell phone and a pair of glasses? Uh, so if you just, you know, let me know either in, in the show or send me an email or something. Okay. Uh, I need to know the answer. So, uh, for I, a friend. I don't know. Just appreciate it. Sorry. Okay. I regret jumping. Maybe Thanks. somebody listening knows the answer to that Bye. question. I regret jumping. Would really appreciate an answer if someone could do that in the comments. Brad Carter. Hey, it's Alaska Jack. Hey. Hey, uh, I thought you'd like to know. There's this app called Nextdoor. You know, it's like Facebook for you. You don't say. It's just something for all these people to bitch about and stuff. Yeah. Anyways, a lot of posts have been. Totally uh, never heard of that. Uh, this homeless guy who just sleeps around the neighborhood in the parks and just randomly. And there's a photo of him laying in his sleeping bag. And there's like garbage and vomit. And it's like trickling over down into the gutter. Just wrappers and wow. shit. It looks horrible. And everybody's just commenting and bitching about it. So fast forward like a month, I create a next door profile with that picture and I say, my name is Homeless Pete. And I uh, I posted once, I was like, hey guys, thanks for being, you know, nicer to me through this COVID bullshit, you know, not kicking me out and stuff. But uh, I'm finally online. Hey. So uh, I'm waiting to see what they reply back. I, I'm sure it's just, uh, uh, you know, a big mess of just complaints and yeah. You know, just dumb shit like that. But They're hey, gonna love you. You'd like to know. All right. Well, thanks for telling me about your prank that nobody has responded to at all. Big jerk. Hey man, it's dumpster love. I'm guessing your voicemails are gonna be pretty, pretty fucking depressing for yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Hang in there, Brad. Yeah, that one from Alaska, Jack. Man, the fuck was that? I totally agree. Uh, I'm playing the voicemails in you know most recent order. I'm surprised there hasn't been anything about Carlito on here yet. 
There's a bunch of voicemails in here since I haven't done a show in forever. Hey, Jay. Hey, King Richard. It's a... I just want to let you know wow. that you're a punk ass little bitch. Yeah. Whoa. You, you say. You, see- you really got King Richard calling the wrong voicemail number and sounding like complete shit. Good job. You really got him good. Hey, Brad. It's Tom from Dayton, Ohio. Fuck you, King Richard. I was just curious about some of the other prank callers out there in the prank calling world. And uh, I was curious what your thoughts were on two of them in particular. Okay. One, how do you feel about Friday Night Cranks? I know they don't do it anymore, but they have a bunch of calls on YouTube. I used to listen to Friday Night Cranks. They're okay. I think I wasn't crazy about their live shows because they were really hit and miss. But his stuff that he put up on his YouTube, you know, the final, uh, the prank singles, I guess you'd call them. Those were pretty funny sometimes. I tried to watch uh, Friday Night Cranks. He did. He started up his own late night TV show type thing. And I thought it was a great idea. I really wanted to like it. But holy crap, go watch it. It's it's something, you know. I think he stopped doing that too. I'm not sure. But yeah, they were okay. I kind of miss him doing his show. It's fun to tune into every once in a while. And look at that. The rest of your voicemail cut off. Isn't that weird? It's the darndest thing. Let's move on to the next one. Hey, Brad. Death in reality. Calling from Colorado. Hey, um, death in reality. Dude, got the news today like everyone else did, I guess, about Carlito. Rest in peace, man. You are definitely the man, the legend. Um, I think you should do a show, you know, about Carlito. I'm going I'm to. I'm not telling you what to do, but I do pay you money. That's so, true, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, I guess I have shout to. out to everybody. I was thinking I might do a Mr. Dabalina show that's nothing but Carlito pranks. And Dwight's really been digging through Carlito's archive from his Dropbox. He had, like, all of his Madhouse stuff on Dropbox. He still does. And both me and Dwight have downloaded every single bit of it. And most of Carlito's stuff, I mean, all of his shows and everything, were put onto the Prank Call Media Pack Torrent thing that I released a few months ago. So a lot of it's there already, but his Dropbox has a lot more stuff in there that I didn't include just because it's a huge unorganized mess. But I'm going to go through all of that. I'm going to just, you know, take out everything I can and include it all. And we've been in contact with Carlito's wife, and she's assuring us, like, as long as she can get the passwords and everything, you know, it's not all locked down, she's going to give us the domains, like uh, prankcallnation.com, and Dwight's going to take that, and then I'm going to take the madhouselive.com domain, and I'm just going to try and do uh, basically a snapshot of it, you know, just keep it up as it is right now, forever until I die in a few more years then somebody can take it from me but Carlito has like a year of shows that he never put on his feed and what I'd like to do because I have all of those shows they were on his Dropbox and most people haven't heard him yet it's a good I I don't know how many shows it is you know it's probably at least a dozen but I think a lot more than that really or maybe not I don't know he wasn't doing a whole lot of shows this past year but there is a lot in there I'd really like to release all of those if I can't get access to his feed I'll put them up somewhere else so everybody can hear them And me and Dwight, we're going to be doing a Carlito tribute show tomorrow. So be sure to be listening to that on Mixler.com slash Prank Call Nation. All right. Ruprecht the Monkey Boy here. Hey, Ruprecht. Yeah, man. I just saw on Facebook, I believe Dwight posted uh, about the passing of Carlito. And a quick interesting story, well, not so interesting, but bizarre and ironic, is uh, I was going to leave you a message in the coming week saying, hey, I finally listened to some of these, I was going to tell you, know, some of these guys you recommend, and I hear the names all the time that you uh, that you talk about, and I co- coincidentally listened to the, I think it was You Look Like Peckers or something, Madhouse Carlito, Pepper? and I was going to do a review of the you know, funny show, and how bizarre is that? And that seems like in past, uh, shows you had mentioned and people were calling and inquiring my help, but I don't really listen to nobody but you uh, as far as the prank, prank call uh, yeah. podcast go. But, the way it uh, should be. Anyway, I uh, pay my respects. Rest in peace, Carlito. And uh, everyone uh, you know, from the Prank Call Nation. Group break away. Right. Yeah, that's cool that you found Carlito. We'll probably be shoving Carlito's pranks down everyone's throats for the next couple months. So be ready for that. Hey, Roy. It's Keith Falcon. Hey. Um, I just wanted to say a couple things. First of all, you asked how I was getting married. Well, we ended up doing a very small wedding uh, in, oh, yeah. During uh, corona. in the neighborhood at, at, uh, on the pond. Did, at a did you keep six feet from your bride-to-be? And it was really nice. Um, I hope so. The other thing I wanted to say 
and I don't want to be too depressing here. Uh, rest in peace, Carlito. Yeah. Uh, it was incredible, and uh, I, I I just I I thought it would maybe nice, you know, if you wanted to um, make a show dedicated to him, that would be that'd be neat. But, yeah, yeah. Um, regardless, you know, I just wanted to say those things and uh, bye, Brad. Bye. I don't know what I could really do on the Snowplow show. I guess I could do a bunch of matter chode calls, a bunch of band chode, or cook some eggs with heat. I forget whose show it was earlier this week, but Devin was on somebody's show, and she actually did a band chode, matter chode call that went really well. It was really funny, but I can't remember where that was. Was that on Justin's Mixler? I don't know. But I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I think I want to, you know, do the automatic redial. I, I've been doing those in order. I'm only up to episode four or whatever. I sure dropped the ball on that one. Maybe I'll do one of those this week, but I think I'm going to start skipping around again because I really need to put out some old Carlito episodes like the one with the helicopters or the Radio Shack one. I always get comments about the Radio Shack episode. Everyone loved that one. Carlito was on that one with me. Hey, Brad. It's Lysol. Hey, Lysol. I heard about... Carlito, and it really fucking sucks. I've been a huge fan of him for about 10 years. You actually yeah. turned me on him, like you showed, yeah, I found a show through you. And I was trying to figure out like the very first time that it, it's been like 10 years since I've known him too, because I remember in 2010 that's when me and him teamed up and started broadcasting on each other's uh, shoutcast streams and I couldn't find the exact date but from what I can tell I think it's something like 10 years and three or four months because I barely knew Carlito back then I knew of him but I never really listened to his show in 2010 and I started to listen to it since we were broadcasting on each other's things and that's when I became a fan of Carlito's holy fuck this came out of nowhere I'm sure yeah. everyone feels that way yeah. and this is a tremendous loss for not only the prank call community, but the world. He was the funniest motherfucker alive, no offense. <laughs> uh, Fuck you. God, I can't decide if I want to laugh or cry thinking about all the calls that he ever made. Yeah. God. Well, at least there's uh, 15 years of phone calls that he's leaving behind. That's kind of awesome. He will be missed dearly. Yep. Learn how to hang up your phone, Lysol. Yes, hello. Hello, Brad. This is me, Arnold. Hi. Oh, yeah, look at, you know, I just wanted to tell you how much I really appreciate your show. Yeah, you have me laughing hysterically. Look at I need to contact you later, all right? I have to pull a prank on my friend, Danny DeVito. All right? <laughs> Keep up the good work. All right. Thanks <laughs> for calling in, Arnold. That's the very last voicemail from this week. I still have quite a few from the past couple weeks before that i'll get to those maybe on the next show i guess that's going to be the end of today's show thanks everybody for listening thanks for all the voicemails be sure to go on the show notes on snowplowshow.com or in the youtube video or whatever and click on some of those links about carlito and just read all the amazing comments about him it's really nice all of those threads are really nice tributes to him Carlito is definitely the closest friend I have ever lost, and I'm just really happy I got to meet him last year and the year before up in Chicago, and 50 or so other people got to meet him too. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for the Carlito Tribute Show on Prank Call Nation. Thank you to FN Reality, Sean L., Jim Dusky, Lord and Lady of Veggies, and Starkey for being the sponsors of today's show. I'm going to end today's show with a song by Gorillaz. This is one that Carlito used to play on the outros of many of his shows. And if you're on YouTube, you don't get to hear it because I always delete stuff from YouTube. So haha, ha, YouTube people. But this one's called Plastic Beach by the Gorillas from that album that came out about 10 years ago. Thanks for being awesome, Carlito. Love you. Ass, 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 ass. <laughs>